think we're all good to go. Here we go. My name is Michael Nip, and I'm here to do the BookTube newbie tag, because uh, supposedly that's what you're supposed to do when you start a BookTube channel. First question, why did you start this channel? So I have another YouTube channel that I've been working on for about a year and a half, two years now, called Whack Matters. And in that channel, we do a lot of comedy and kind of goofy stuff. But this last year, I rediscovered my love for reading. And that kind of brought me down a big rabbit hole, which had me looking at lots of different YouTube channels that talk about reading and reading more book uh, blogs and checking out more book sites. And it really kind of, you know, got the the desire in me to try to do something like this myself. If I understand the YouTube algorithms correctly, it would be a really bad idea for me to continue to try to do book stuff on my other channel. And so I talked to my brother and we decided that it would be best if I kept the book stuff over here because the Venn diagrams of the stuff over there and the stuff over here don't really make sense. And I really want to talk about the books I've been reading and the, the stuff that I've been doing because there's I've been reading a lot of really good books that have been coming out lately, guys. I'm really falling in love with reading again. The second question, what are some fun and unique things that I could bring to BookTube? So for one, I have this weird perspective on reading because I read a lot as a child and then I took a huge break once I uh, got married and became an adult and now I'm just getting back into it. So there's a lot of time period when I didn't read, but I read a lot back then and I'm reading a lot this year. That could be a, a unique perspective. Another thing is that I like a lot of different types of books that I could talk about. I don't really have one specific genre, though I do lean heavily towards towards some stuff, which I'll get to later. But I think sometimes I have some interesting takes that I could add to the discussion as far as uh, thinking about the story from a different angle. Maybe I could bring some of the comedy stuff I've done over there over here to be able to entertain you guys with some laughs or something. Next, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Well, I am excited to be reading again, and I'm excited to have a platform to be able to talk about reading. I have a lot of gear that lets me be able to do that already uh, because of the stuff I've done with my other channel. And uh, I'm excited to join the conversation that's been happening around books uh, all over the place. Uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Goodreads. I discovered Goodreads this year and just to realize that there's such a big community for people that love reading was awesome to me and I'm really excited to kind of get more involved in, in that stuff with this YouTube channel as well. Next question, why do I love reading? So there's a lot of different things. So um, I have always loved storytelling and fiction and getting using my imagination to kind of teleport myself to another world and be able to um, see things through another perspective, whether it's a different character or it's, you know, like I said, a different world or a different setting than the one that I'm already in. That stuff is always awesome to me. And I've always loved it basically since I could read. Primarily, I do prefer uh, fiction, but I've also been reading more nonfiction as an adult than I ever did as a, as a child because I think there's other ways that you can learn and enrich your life in that way as well. Some side stuff, I heard that smart people read. So maybe if I read more, I could at least pretend to be smart. Uh, additionally, there's some indication that maybe reading can help you prevent uh, like memory loss type diseases such as Alzheimer's, which one of my greatest fears is actually losing my memory and not being able to remember those I love. So I guess there's lots of reasons. What book or series got me into reading? It's a hard question because I read a lot as a child. And so, you know, as I was learning to read, I just kind of read everything back then. Some of the big things that I read as a child were um, Red, the Red Wall series by Brian Jakes. I uh, loved that as a, as a kid. I read Lord of the Rings as a kid. Um, lots of that stuff. I think maybe the more interesting thing is after spending a long time not reading, what is... Uh, the thing that got me back into reading this time around. Uh, so this time, uh, I had always been wanting to read more as an adult, but I never actually took the time to do that. I read a book or two every couple years or every year or so, uh, but I hadn't really dove into it head first. And so this year there was a deal on Kindle Paper Whites. Um, I do a lot of reading digitally. I know that makes me kind of an anomaly from the, the stuff that I see here on YouTube. 
but I do like to read digitally a lot of the time. And uh, I forced myself to get a Kindle Paperwhite because I then I would say, if I spent money in this, I've invested time and money in this, I'm going to have to start reading again, which I did. And the first thing that I thought would be good for me to start with was, um, I think it was called Shadows and Tall Trees 7 or something. I thought that maybe by jumping into a collection of short stories, and these were horror short stories, um, which I, I do like some, some kind of scary reading. I thought this would be an easy way for me to jump back into reading and maybe develop this because I could read this a digestible tract. And I really had a hard time. I don't really like that book at all. I didn't give it a very positive review uh, when I read it on Goodreads. I just, it, th- they didn't click with me. I'm, if, if people like those books or th- those stories in that book, good for them. It didn't really click for me. Um, and so I thought maybe I just didn't like fiction anymore. I'd been reading some nonfiction and I was enjoying that, but I was, I was thinking I didn't like fiction anymore. And that really made me sad because I kind of always loved the fiction aspect, the imagination aspect of storytelling and reading. So what actually got me back into reading this time was I knew that I like what I call Pacific Northwest stories. Uh, basically stories that would normally be inspired by Twin Peaks, the TV show. Which I that's probably not good to say that I like things that are like a TV show when I'm talking about books, but that's the truth. And so I googled what are books like Twin Peaks, and maybe that's a bad thing to Google. Um, but obviously there's a lot of things that heavily are inspired by that. Some of my favorite books in the past that were like that were, were things like The Oath by Frank Peretti. And... One of the books that I found that it recommended, which I didn't realize, you know, ultimately didn't end up being very Twin Peaks uh, like or Pacific Northwest story like once I got into it. But Blake Crouch uh, released a, a trilogy of books called the Wayward Pines trilogy. I think it's Pines Wayward, the last town of the names of the books. And uh, I read all three of those books in less than a week. I th- was immediately hooked, dove through them read through them extremely fast, especially for me. And that kind of relaunched my new love of reading, which spawned what I've been doing this year, which is reading like crazy. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, so I am still new to this scene. I've been following some people in booktube, but I think that the questions that I would ask is, how do you do you do this? I don't really know how to develop a personality and a style that's interesting enough to get an audience. I've never really fully fleshed that out. So um, this isn't a problem just with BookTube. I'm still learning how to make content that's super engaging that can develop a community around that content. And uh, if anyone has any ideas, uh, that'd be awesome. I would like to to develop that kind of community. The discussion, discussing the things that, that I'm reading is kind of the whole reason I'm getting into this. Being able to discuss this with the people would be great. So Figuring out how to develop that kind of community and get it going. What challenges do I think about starting into BookTube will be the challenges that are hardest to overcome? Uh, getting over the hump where you are making videos that no one is seeing. Uh, I like books and I've been writing Goodreads reviews and I'm going to keep reading books. But as far as the YouTube channel stuff, it's hard when you're not getting any feedback to know whether you're doing something right or wrong, that initial discovery phase is the hardest part of making content for me because you have no idea whether what you're making is actually good for people to watch or not. Um, it, which I guess that's crazy because I'm starting fresh when I, you know, had a channel that was, you know, for me doing okay. And now I'm kind of starting from the bottom floor again. Um, that's the hardest challenge starting to get anyone to see your videos and, and, let you know what they think. When did I start reading? So, like I said, I read a ton as a kid. Um, I stopped reading probably somewhere in high school when I discovered girls and started uh, talking to girls. I started reading less. And then I got married and I read maybe five books while I was, uh, you know, a young married person, um, which I guess I still am a young married person. But I started again this year, 2019, uh, June or July. There was a sale, whatever Prime Day was. There was a sale this year on uh, the Kindle Paperwhite. I bought it and then jumped back into reading. So I really have been only you know, reading again since this year. Where do I read? Um, 
Most of the time I read digitally. So uh, Kindle Paperwhite, the Kindle Online, the, the Kindle kind of thing where it syncs everything. I, I've also started jumping into audiobooks a lot. And I love the fact that audiobooks and your Kindle books will sync progress. So a lot of the times I do try to get the audiobook and the book for whatever I'm reading so that I can, uh, I drive a lot for work. I can drive and listen to the book. And then when I'm home or when I have free time, I can read the book elsewhere. Uh, so that's kind of both where I read as a, as a place physically and also where I read, uh, my books as far as digital or physical. I do have a library card for two different libraries in town. And I've been utilizing some of that both for uh, the digital overdrive Libby stuff and also the physical I borrow a book from the library stuff. Um, and um, it's harder for me to read physical books. And the fact that I can't have the audiobook option when I drive makes it harder. But I am still pushing through some of that stuff. I've read some physical books this year as well. What kinds of books do I like to read? So um, for the most part... Uh, this year, I've read a lot more sci-fi than I ever have before. Um, I like to read fantasy books. I like to read mystery books. I've been reading some like murder mystery stuff. Um, I've been reading, you know, religious non-fiction books. So like, I'm reading a church history book. Um, I read a book, uh, the the Costi Hand Defying Deception book this year. Um, and that's kind of the the things that I've been reading and the and the stuff that I'm into. But I want to expand my reading now that I'm getting back into this. I want to kind of expand my reading further and develop a taste for new types of books as well. And I guess that wraps up the the BookTube newbie challenge. I'm going to be working to uh, kind of figure out what videos I should be making, what kind of style I have, maybe make some reading vlogs. That seems to be a thing to do. I'll be working on a, a to be read a TBR list for November, so I can talk about the books I'll be reading in November. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to get my feet you know, set here, trying to get started, but I'm excited for this journey and I'm excited for this kind of new outlet for being able to talk about something else that I enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell if you'd like to see notifications on new videos. And um, if you don't read and somehow you watch this channel, uh, I want to try to be able to talk about reading in a way that is super positive and I can let you know how awesome it is because I would love to have more people read. Uh, for those people that do read, I'd love to start, you know, joining into communities and starting communities where we can further discussions around uh, this awesome pastime hobby lifestyle that is, you know, reading. I'll see you next time.